Saturday, first week after Pentecost, morning meditation, June 5th, 2021. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices Teacher in Moral Theology, Act of Faith in the Presence of God, Nomen de Patri, Fili, Spiritu Sancti, Amen. Most Holy, Adorable, and Undivided Trinity, One God in Three Persons, I believe that Thou art here present. I adore Thee with the deepest humility, and render to Thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to Thy Sovereign Majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for Thy servant heareth. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my Mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, <clears throat> passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, Deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our morning meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, Nuc in Hora Mortis Nostre, Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Sicud Erat in Principio, Nuc et Semper, and Secula Seculorum, Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle none the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost. Grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Morning Meditation, the Generous Heart of Jesus. It is a characteristic of a good-hearted people to desire to make everybody happy, especially the most distressed and afflicted. Who can ever find one who has a better heart than Jesus Christ? He is infinite goodness itself, and is therefore a sovereign desire to communicate his riches to us. Quote, With me are riches, that I may enrich them that love me. Proverbs 8, verse 18, 21. Who can ever find one who has a better heart than Jesus Christ? He is infinite goodness itself, and is therefore a sovereign desire to communicate his riches to us. With me are riches, that I may enrich them that love me. For this purpose, Jesus made himself poor, as the apostle says, that he might make us rich. Quote, he became poor for your sakes, that through his poverty 
you might be rich. 2 Corinthians 8, 9. For this purpose also he came to remain with us in the most holy sacrament, where he remains constantly with his hands full of graces, as we seen, as was seen by Father Balthazar Alvarez, to dispense them to those who come to visit him. For this reason also he gives himself wholly to us in communion, giving us to understand from this that he cannot refuse us any good gifts, since he even gives himself entirely to us. Quote, How hath he not also with him given us all things? Romans 8.32 Ah, my Jesus, thou hast not refused to give me thy blood and thy life, and shall I refuse to give thee my miserable heart? No, my dearest Redeemer, I offer it entirely to thee. I give thee all my will. Do thou accept it, and dispose of it at thy pleasure. I can do nothing and have nothing of my own, but I have this heart which thou hast given me, and of which no one can deprive me. I may be deprived of my goods, my blood, my life, but not my heart. With this heart I can love thee. With this heart I will love thee. I beseech thee, O my God, teach me a perfect forgetfulness of myself. Teach me that what I must do to arrive at thy pure love, of which thou in thy goodness has inspired me with the desire. I feel in myself a determination to please thee. But in order to put my resolve into execution, I expect and implore help from thee. It depends on thee, O loving heart of Jesus, to make entirely thine my poor heart, which hitherto has been so ungrateful and through my own fault deprived of thy love. In the heart of Jesus we receive every good, every grace that we desire. Quote, in all things you are made rich in him so that nothing is wanting to you in any grace. 1 Corinthians 1, 5 and 7. And we must understand that we <clears throat> are debtors to the heart of Jesus for all the graces we have received. Graces of redemption, of vocation, of light, of pardon the grace to resist temptations and to bear patiently with contradictions. For without his assistance, we could not do anything good. Quote, without me, you can do nothing. John 15, 5. And if hitherto, says our Savior, you have not received more graces, do not complain of me, but blame yourself who have neglected to seek them of me. Quote, hitherto you have not asked anything. Ask, and you shall receive. John 16, 24. Oh, how rich and liberal is the heart of Jesus towards everyone that has recourse to him. Quote, rich unto all that call upon him. Romans 10, 12. Oh, what great mercies do those souls receive who are earnest in asking help of Jesus Christ. David said, quote, for thou, O Lord, art sweet and mild and plenteous to all who call upon thee. Psalm 15. 85 verse 5 let us therefore always go to this heart and ask with confidence and we shall obtain all we want oh grant that my heart may be all thine on fire with the love of thee dear jesus even as thine is on fire with the love of me grant that my will may be entirely united so that i may will, will nothing but what thou willest and that from this day forward thy holy will may be the rule of all my actions, of all my thoughts, and of all my desires. I trust, O my Savior, that thou wilt not refuse me thy grace to fulfill this resolution, which I now make prostrate at thy feet, to receive me with submission whatever thou mayest ordain for me in my affairs, as well in life as in death. Blessed art thou, O Immaculate Virgin Mary, who hast thy heart always and entirely united to the heart of Jesus. Obtain for me, O my mother, that in the future I may wish and desire only what Jesus wills and what thou willest. Spiritual reading, Coram Sanctissimo, Tenth Visit. O foolish ones of the world, says St. Augustine, miserable creatures, whither are you going to satisfy your hearts? Come to Jesus. For by him alone can that pleasure which you seek be bestowed. Quote, unhappy creatures, whither are you going? The good you seek for comes from him. 
unquote. My soul be not of the number of these foolish ones. Seek God alone. Quote, seek for that one good in which are all good things. Unquote. And if thou desirest soon to find him, behold, he is close to thee. Tell him what thou desirest. Since for this end it is he is in the ciborium to console thee and to grant thy prayers. St. Teresa says that all are not allowed to speak to their king. The most that can be hoped for is to communicate with him through a third person. To converse with thee, O king of glory, no third person is needed. Thou art always ready in the sacrament of the altar to give audience to all. Whoever desires thee always finds thee there and converses with thee face to face. And even if anyone at length succeeds in speaking with a king, how many difficulties has he had to overcome before he can do so? Kings grant audiences only a few times in the year. Thou in this sacrament grantest audience to all night and day and whenever we please. O sacrament of love, thou who, whether thou givest thyself in the communion or dwellest on the altar, knowest by the tender affections of thy love how to draw so many hearts to thyself who enamored of thee and filled with an amazement at the sight of such love burn with joy and think always of thee draw also my miserable heart to thyself for it desires to love thee and to live enslaved for thy love for my part i now and henceforth place all my interests all my hopes and all my affections my soul my body i place all in the hands of thy goodness accept me o lord and dispose of me as thou pleaseth. I will never again complain, O my love, of thy holy dispensations. I know that as all take their source in thy loving heart, they will be full of love and for my good. It is enough for me to know that thou willest them, and I will them also in time and eternity. Do all thou willest in me and with me, I unite my entire self to thy will, which is all holy, all good, all beautiful, all perfect, all loving. O will of my God, how dear art thou to me. My will is ever to live and die united to and bound up with thee. Thy pleasure is my pleasure. I will that thy desires be also my desires. O my God, my God, help me. Make me henceforward live for thee alone. Make me will only what thou willest, and make me live only to love thy amiable will. Grant that I may die for thy love, since thou hast died and become food for me. I curse those days in which I did my own will, so much to thy displeasure. I love thee, O will of God, as much as I love God, since thou art one with him. I love thee then with my whole heart. And give myself all to thee. O will of God, thou art my love. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love thee above all things and desire to possess thee with my soul. Since I am unable now to receive thee sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace thee as already there and unite myself wholly to thee. Never permit me to be separated from thee. Visit to Mary. The great queen says, quote, with me are riches that I may enrich them that love me. Proverbs 8, 18, 21. Let us love Mary if we would be rich in graces. The writer who signs himself Idiota styles herself the treasure of graces, quote unquote. Blessed is he who has recourse to Mary with love and confidence. My mother, my hope, thou canst make me a saint. From thee I hope for this favor. Mother most amiable, pray for me. Concluding prayer. Most holy, immaculate virgin of my mother Mary, to thee who art the mother of my Lord, and queen of the world, the advocate, the hope, the refuge of sinners, I have recourse today. I, who am the most miserable of all, I render to thee my most humble homage, O great queen. And I thank thee for all the graces thou hast conferred on me until now, particularly for having delivered me from hell, which I have so often deserved. I love thee, O most amiable lady, and for the love which I bear thee, I promise to serve thee always, and to do all in my power to make others love thee also. 
I place thee all my hopes. I confide my salvation to thy care. Accept me for thy servant and receive me under thy mantle, O Mother of Mercy. And since thou art so powerful with God, deliver me from all temptations. Rather, obtain for me the strength to triumph over them until death. Of thee I ask a perfect love of Jesus Christ. From thee I hope to die a good death. O oh, my mother, for the love which thou bearest to God, I beseech thee to help me at all times, but especially at the last moment of my life. Leave me not, I beseech thee, till thou seest me safe in heaven, blessing thee and singing thy mercies for all eternity. Amen, so I hope, so may it be. Indulgence of 300 days for the above prayer. Nomen Patria Fili, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Have a blessed morning and day, O slaves of Mary.